So, uh, keeping in the fiction mode, I'm going to read two pieces of fiction. Very short. First one's called Alpha. After watching the Nature Channel, you decide to go live with the bears. You like their simple simplicity. Mouth salmon, tree paw, and back scratch. You won't miss the human thing, things, the traffic, the money, or the clothes. You travel to find an appropriate forest, one with lush foliage and animal stink. You tear off your clothes and stuff them under a, a mossy rock. You change your mind and float them down the stream. Before long, you see your first bear. You name him Roscoe, though naming is such a human thing. He leads you to the others. They look at you blankly, heads tilted, but Roscoe nods and they seem okay. Clearly, he is their alpha. He takes you aside and shows you how to climb a tree, how to sniff out berries and dig up twigs. A part of you misses the hubbub of traffic and your clothes which are floating in the stream like a chalk outline. You think it might help him to teach you think it might help to teach him a bit of your culture. You start with money and how near dinner time it can be used to purchase food, donuts and pizza and hot dogs. You pick up a leaf, foldable and green, how very much it looks like cash. You place it firm in Roscoe's paw. You start to think how easy it would be to take over here, become the alpha yourself. You explain to Roscoe that he would take the money and hand it to someone in exchange they would give you food. You are frustrated you are frustrated at first that this poor beast has no idea what you are saying. And then just as you are about to give up, Roscoe presses the leaf into your white fleshy palm. And just before he swallows you in five efficient gulps, you are almost proud. <laughs> This is called Death Primer. Some of, you have been, some of you have asked what it will look like when you are dead. Let me demonstrate by lying down on this cold, slabby marble. Pretend my chest isn't moving with breath. Pretend my closed eyelids don't flutter. You might wonder why I am lying on my back. You might wonder why no one is ever buried, is ever buried on their side, curled up like a fetus. After all, they are just a baby now in the afterlife. As you could see, the symbolism would be too obvious. Remember, someone will be by to put makeup on you, bruise your cheeks, slip back your hair. Some of you will actually look better than you do right now. The good thing about dying is that you won't have to think anymore. No one will blame you for your bad decisions. No one will ask where you put the remote. When news of your death gets out, someone will shed a tear for you. Someone else will say they saw you last week. Think about the people who will make casseroles for your poor, hungry family. Think about how good you will feel. Think about how everyone you ever think about everyone you ever knew and what they will be doing when they hear about your accident, overdose, heart attack. They will all have the exact same thought. They will all shake their heads and think they could have been nicer to you. They will probably be right. <laughs>